Welcome back, everybody. We are so happy our resident historian is here today, and he is sharing some amazing photos with us and, of course, some knowledge. Oh, always. <laughs> well, Opryland no longer exists, but it lives in memories. Hi, David. Hi. Right, it's great to be back on Channel yes. 2. But, no, Opryland was this iconic theme park, and so many people had their first jobs in Nashville and worked out there, spent the summers out there. We had season passes, and I bought some season passes that everyone, you know, cool. the season passes were just about $25 or $30, and you bought them, and you could go spend the whole summer out there and ride all the rides. And, and sadly, the park closed uh, December 21st, 31st, 1997, or as I call it, the day the music died. Aww. And everybody is um, still lamenting 25 years later the closing of the park. But there's so many great memories of Opryland. Actually, there's a wonderful Facebook page called Opryland Memories of former employees, and people share all sorts of pictures and videos. But it's, it's almost like, even though it's closed, people still act like it's still it around. It still lives on. Now, we have some pretty cool photos mm -hmm. that yes. you have shared with us. So that's one of the trains. I think that's Rachel. And the favorite part, there's a woman that's working at the park waving. So if you worked oh. at the park, every time the train passed, you had to stop what you were doing, turn, <laughs> and wave toward the train. So people really remember that. That's so neat. Love it. Oh, wow. uh, and the Grizzly River Rampage. You know, this was one of the kind of water rides. There were many water rides, the uh, Flume Zoom and the Old Mill Stream. But this one was really one that you definitely got wet on, you oh. know, no matter where you were sitting. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I love that. What That's was your so favorite cool. ride? Oh, I like the Wabash Cannonball. It's just a roller coaster, and it was just kind of old-fashioned. And see, here's some of the little mascots, the Sky Ride. And that's the flume zoom. I also like the flume zoom. That was just fun. Yeah. Which one was the flume zoom? The water ride on the oh, right. Oh, that looks fun. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Oh, there's a great photo of, of uh, some politicians riding that back in the day, too. I've seen that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The United Nations actually right. came here in 1975. And Kurt Waldheim, who was the head of the UN, uh, flew, uh, wore a suit and tie yes. and got on the <laughs> flume zoom, which is kind of funny. Doing it in style. And this is an overhead view, and that's the uh, iconic now Grand Ole Opry house in the background that was built in 1974. So the park opened in 72, uh, the Grand Ole Opry house in 1974, and then the Opryland Hotel three years later in 1977. There was kind of the three legs of the stool. Of course, the Grand Ole Opry house and the hotel are still there today. Oh, my. You know, people, oh, oh wow. Oh, Bob yes. Ross. Yes. <laughs> now, Ross. This is a funny picture from the internet. There's a cup. <laughs> from the Old Mill Stream there, and then, you know, a little mandolin logo. And here's Bob Ross randomly enjoying <laughs> some gooey pizza at Opryland. You know, Aww. I put that on my Instagram page, and everyone's like, wow, Bob Ross. That's I love cool. It. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, you know, people talk about bring back Opryland. Mm -hmm. Do you think it'll ever come back? Sadly, no. Um, you know, the people that initially closed it, you know, they said it was a mistake, you know, and none of the people are around today at the company that owns all of that, but they wouldn't have closed it. Our tourism took a hit, but just at that same time, the tourism community came together and really kind of promoted our music brand more. Mm -hmm. And it was interesting, I, a lot of people think about Opryland as rides, but there was so much live music there. Mm -hmm. And there was country music, there was an area called doo -Wah Diddy City, and they played a lot of kind of 50s and 60s rock and roll, and so there was just something for everybody. I love the hat. Yes. Tell us about this yeah. hat. You know, there's so many iconic souvenirs of Opryland, and this is one of my favorites, this old red, white, and blue hat, and this logo. You know, there's so many people that have kind of spoofed this logo now, but when you see this, this logo, you just, it's just so many memories of the park and just comes back to you. And, you know, Opryland, um, maybe one day we'll have another amusement park, but there will only be um, only one Opryland. That's Aww. right, living on forever in our hearts. Yes. Uh, Thank you oh, so oh, much. And just That's one more. Wabash cannonball <laughs> going upside down there in a loop. There it is. Oh, yeah. No hands, fun, right? Fun was always had at Opryland. No, fun, fun always had. Well, thank you so much, David. You're always so much full of knowledge, and I'm sure people at home will really appreciate this homage we're paying to Opryland. Yes. So thank you. To get your own history lesson, follow David at the Nashville I Wish I Knew on Instagram.